so welcome to a little day in the life. Yesterday was our semester one results day and it's safe to say I have a lot to update everyone on because things are quite shambolic. So mini update, um, can't do my research paper, doesn't exist, can't do it. My supervisor is salty that I didn't thank him for helping me with my lit review when he didn't really help and I got given literally someone else's grade for a module so... So then when I got home I had the very thrilling task of putting all my laundry away and that definitely doesn't cause me any just emotional or physical pain at all. So um, I'm back from the gym, here's the update of just how everything went. Yesterday we got our semester one results back. We only really got two results back because we already had two full modules or something else. So I got my lit review and then I got sexual health. Lit review, Slayer got 78, but like kind of expected. But the feedback that I got was we get two markers. So it first, first gets marked by your supervisor, second gets marked by someone else. And like the first marker is your supervisor. They aren't, they can't hide that. The comment that my first marker left, who was my supervisor, but it's just called marker one, they basically said, we had to do a personal commentary, which was like, who do you want to thank for this? And I was like, I'd like to thank myself, without whom this would not have been possible. And he was like, oh, lovely writing. I hope, you know, I appreciate the irony of your, um, of your personal commentary. I just hope that you realize that you would also want to acknowledge your supervisor who gave you the idea. I'm like, yeah, because you kind of had to. Um, your supervisor who read your draft, did you leave me any comments though? No, not a single one. And also the people who made the studies. And I'm like, am I thanking all studies I use? Like, I don't really, I don't really know. And then my second marker was like, oh yeah, this is great. But then they were also like, oh, you should have included X, Y, and Z, which are like typical of a systematic review. And I'm like, you know what, if I, if I knew I was doing a systematic review, I probably would have done some of those things, but I only actually found out like, a day before that it was a systematic review and it was apparently like advanced to do a systematic review but I think it was easier to do a systematic review than a lit review because there was no lit to review. And here's the other fun stuff. So I opened my sexual health module and I was like this shambolic. The grade was awful and like kind of to be expected because the super, the lecturer doesn't like us. He already gave us, he'd already given us a bad grade. Like things weren't really looking up. Um, and then, I'm trying to pick one of my nails off, if you're wondering. And then I sent him an email and I was like, hey babe, can I have some feedback? Like, the grade is shockingly low. Like, I asked him before we even opened e-assignments because we just got the module grade, but you don't get the component grade. But because we already had every other component grade, you can guess, work out what you've actually got in that component. So I worked it out and I was like, oh, that's really bad. Like really bad so i emailed him and he was like oh um i'll put the email on the screen but he said something like oh it looks like there's been a mistake i was like what do you mean a mistake um because he didn't say like oh well that's your grade but he was like oh maybe there's been a mistake in like giving your grade like so i th i got given someone else's grade because i got the email this morning from him saying like oh my god i'm so sorry like this rarely happens but it looks like it happened we gave you someone else's grade but does that mean that someone else got given my grade? Because I got given a 2-2 and then he came back and he was like, your actual grade was 13 marks above that. I was like, wow. And the thing is, they wouldn't have questioned it or done anything about it had I not sent them an email going, this is wrong. If I hadn't sent them an email asking for feedback, I would have been left with that grade, which my now module grade is nine points higher. And no one would have questioned that. So, yeah, my university is a failure. Just fail. Have they done anything right? No, not really. And then also in, with my research paper, I currently don't have a topic. I have nothing I can do. Um, nothing, nothing. There's, <laughs> I can't do anything. 
so oh my hair is a mess but i'm now walking to campus because i have a meeting at one and it also it turns out with the exam that it wasn't literally just me and the other person that got swapped it was that they did like 20 marks wrong like 20 individual marks not like 20 great um but that now means that like loads of people are going to get increased or decreased and like if i was going to get decreased i'd be fuming because it's kind of my fault because i made them check but like they would they have not checked this anyway would i have ended up with a 2-2 when i actually got almost a first in the exam like how would it have worked so i just met with the lady and we spoke about my coursework and it was kind of useful i mean it was okay i need to email her more though because she was like if you have any questions just email me yeah, so I had my meeting. It was it was semi-useful. Um, the person who's like supervising me has written most of the papers and things I'm looking at, so actually good. But I now have to go home and install The Sims and install sex toy mods. Um, and we go from there, I guess. And then after my meeting, I painted my nails, I gelled them, and I watched the Teen Girls Cup for the Suncorp. And then essentially I'm doing this quite weird piece of coursework, which is the one I had the meeting with the person for today. And I was writing down kind of all of the ideas and stuff, I guess, of like the things I need to do for it. Yeah, so I spent some time on that. I reinstalled The Sims 4, I installed some sex toy mods because that's apparently what I do for my degree now. And then I moved on to our clinical work and I worked a case report for that and I made notes. Um, and then we kind of finished up and I'm now gonna watch more of the Teen Girls Cup.